Hi everybody, Adam here. Welcome to our build series for the Chesapeake and Ohio 284 Berkshire steam locomotive. This awesome locomotive was designed by Jeffrey Fonda of the PNW Steam Shop. Really amazing work by Jeffrey on this model. I'm having a lot of fun building it so far. You'll notice on the workspace here, got tons of parts all out as we work through building this. And as part of sort of getting to understand all the parts that were included, I started off by putting together the tender for the locomotive and, you know, really happy with how it's looking so far. Got the some great texture up on the top here. Looks really nice. Uh, you know, very symbolic for the, the coal that would have been there. Uh, so I think that looks great. And, you know, some really nice details on the back here. We've got the, we've got the ladder structure here. Uh, we've got the magnetic coupler. And then on the underside, we've got, you know, the wheels set up there. Some nice little details along the underside. And then on the front, we've got the IR receiver coming out here, uh, the cable for that, and nice little, nice little window shutter detail here. That you can see inside the tender. Um, so, you know, really happy overall with the look of this. Now, Things that are missing off this currently, we have the decals that'll be going on there. I'll do a decal pass at the end when I'm done the entire locomotive, but really happy with the way these look. I think they're going to be great when they're on the, the locomotive itself. So quite happy with that. And then the other thing that's missing is the piping detail uh, around the various parts of the, the wheel structure and the, the tender itself. And the kit comes with all the piping that you need, but you need to cut it yourself. So I don't really know what the best way to tackle that is. Right For now, what I've chosen to do is I think I'm just going to wait closer to the end of the build and then do a big pass at cutting everything that I need uh, and getting everything inserted. I hope that will work out well. I think it should be fine, but I figure it's easier to do that in a pass all at once, get everything cut and uh, put onto the model. So, you know, lots still to do. Really happy with how it's looking so far though. You'll notice in the parts that are out here, uh, you don't see the motors for the the locomotive that's because i've already started to build the uh the drivetrain for the locomotive and putting that together so you'll see that in an upcoming video really soon um as the you know once that's covered up for most of these kits i won't be showing the drivetrain proper because that's proprietary to the designer of the kit but uh once that structure is kind of covered up and you can start to see the overall shape of the locomotive, uh, I'll definitely be doing another video and walking you through all of that. Uh, but quite excited about the kit. One other thing I wanted to, to show you is the instruction manual. Uh, really happy with how the instructions worked out for the tender and the first part of the locomotive couple things that I noticed in going through. One, uh, some of the colors were a little off on the pieces. Not a huge deal. That's something that you encounter sometimes with Lego instructions in general. And it's something that I was able to figure out fairly easily. So not really a major issue. The other thing of note, there are a few instructions where you can't see where some of the parts for a particular step go. Uh, so I had to do some looking ahead and a little bit of kind of uh, guesswork for, you know, where it likely was going in behind the scenes on a on a section of, of brick. Uh, didn't happen often. And, you know, uh, with a little bit of sleuthing, it was fairly easy to to figure out. So 
not huge issues, just a couple things that are worth noting. One other thing that I'm quite happy with in the instruction manual is this first little section here. They actually give a history uh, for this locomotive. And, you know, it's really great to, to learn about these locomotives and how they were used, where they were used, the, the history of some of the rail lines that they were associated with. Uh, so, you know, I really find uh, these sections cool, useful, uh, and, you know, I really appreciate them being included. So really nice touch to have that in the instruction manual. And, you know, overall, a really great instruction manual. Really like the fact that it's spiral bound like this makes it so much easier uh, when you're working with it on a table like this and flipping back and forth between uh, different sections. Uh, so really happy overall with the instructions. And as I said, uh, the locomotive has been really fun to assemble so far, and I'm excited to uh, you know get this out and running around our layout. Now, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please make sure to do so so that you don't miss out on any of our great upcoming videos in this uh, particular build series or in you know any of the other series and types of videos that we release on the channel. We've got lots of other great uh, locomotive builds in progress or soon to begin that uh, you will see in videos shortly. So lots of great stuff ahead. And I will also include a link below to the PNW Steam Shop in case you want to check out any of Jeffrey's other work. Highly recommend giving the site a, a look over. Uh, you know, I'm personally really excited to, to build more of Jeffrey's work as he releases more instruction sets. So uh, hopefully some cool things ahead from him. And thank you very much for watching and we will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.